What is going on guys? My name is Kenji and welcome back to my channel. I hope it's not the first time you're watching one of my videos, but in case it is, I'm a fourth year medical student, study at King's College London, and I hope you guys like this pink sort of vibe I'm rocking. I've got a pink lampshade behind me, pink t-shirt, and it is 2020 after all. So I'm gonna rock it very hard in this video. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you guys about my personal experience studying the University of Birmingham, and I'm gonna be breaking down the university into four broad categories. First, I'm gonna talk about the academics, then the social life, then the actual city itself, which is Birmingham, and lastly, the safety of the city. Although I am studying medicine now in King's College London, some of you might know that I actually did my last degree, which is biomedical science at the University of Birmingham. And that's exactly what this video is gonna be about. I'll also be comparing uh, Birmingham to King's since this is the experience of the different universities that I've been to. And I'll also be comparing Birmingham with London since they're the two biggest cities within the country. If you haven't already subscribed while you're watching, please make sure to do so and give the video a thumbs up. It really, really does help me reach more people and make the channel grow. But without further ado, let's get started. So I want to start off by talking about the academics of the university, whether or not it's actually a very academic or good university to go to. And this is probably the easiest category to talk about. The University of Birmingham is undoubtedly one of the best universities in the country. Right now, where it currently stands in 2020, it's ranked 13th in the university rankings, and it's also ranked as the 22nd best medical school in the country. I should also say that it's a Russell Group University, meaning that it undertakes some of the best research within the whole entire country. And because of that, I want to be rating this university a 4.5 out of in terms of its academics and probably give an equal rating to King's College London because I think they're more or less on the same level in terms of their academics. Nice and easy, let's move on to the next one. The next and probably the more fun category to talk about, which I think you guys find interesting as well, is the social life. And I'm gonna be completely honest in saying that the social aspect of the University of Birmingham is probably the best I've ever seen in my life. I'm studying medicine at King's and I've also traveled the country visiting my friends in their different universities. And there is no place better that I've ever experienced a social life to be than at the University of Birmingham. The reason why I say this and kind of in comparison to London is that in London, most people live at home. Because it's a big city, a lot of people live at home. And also because it's a city, a lot of the accommodations that you live about in your first year tend to be quite spread out, which doesn't really make you feel like part of a big community like Birmingham did. In Birmingham, the majority of the actual student population isn't from Birmingham. So the majority of us actually live on or around the university, very, very close to each other, actually only really in like one or two areas in the whole entire city, which makes you feel a lot more integrated and makes socializing a lot more easier. In my first year, I lived in halls of residence in a place called Harborn, which is a small area of Birmingham, about 10 minute walk from the university. And in my second year, I lived in Selly Oak, which is a huge kind of um, student village where the majority of the students in second, third, fourth, and fifth year live. And because of that, whenever you're walking to and from university, to the shops, to the gym, to the restaurants, you almost always bump into one of your friends. I used to go to campus almost every single day because of the gym. And the majority of my friends also went to campus every single day for other reasons as well. And when you walk there, you honestly end up bumping into at least 10 people on the way, which makes living in the area a lot more exciting. If you're into clubbing and partying, that sort of thing, they have a one street called Broad Street, which has pretty much all of the clubs in Birmingham, which is super, super cheap and super fun. Some of the best clubs I've ever been to in my life. And you can honestly have the best time of your life for 15 pounds alone because of how cheap it is. In comparison to London, there aren't really any clubs that are student specific. In Birmingham, they honestly had clubs that were dedicated to students. That's not really a thing in London. And the worst thing about clubbing in London is that it costs so much money. Entrance to a club on its own can cost you 15 pounds and a single drink can cost you around 10 pounds. In comparison to Birmingham, like I said, I'd be completely broke. I'd go out with 15 pounds and I had the best night of my entire life. In regards to university itself, they have a huge, huge number of sports teams and societies and loads of different things to be part of. In my first and second year, I actually played football for the medical school, which is amazing. And in my final year, I played lacrosse. They have tons of different societies as well. So if you're interested in Harry Potter society, the, um, I don't know, Justin Bieber society, photography society. They have a huge number of different societies you can get involved with, which all take place on campus. And if you're into sports, the University of Birmingham is one of the best teams in the country for undertaking sports. I'm not entirely sure on the statistics, but I think the university was actually like second or third in terms of the overall uh, sport rankings in the country. Don't quote me on that. They have a very, very good team. And some of the actual Great Britain athletes actually played as part of the university. If you're not into clubbing and clubbing is not your sort of thing, there are tons of restaurants in and around the city that you can go to, loads of different activities and loads of different places that you can uh, go to as well. So because of that, I'm gonna give the social life in Birmingham a five out of five and giving the win to the University of Birmingham and not King's College London. 
Now let's move on to talking about what it was like living in Birmingham from the accommodation, the things to do, and the actual city itself. Living in Birmingham was one of the cheapest places I've ever lived in my life. The rent itself was more than half of what I pay in London. I was paying around 90 pounds a week for a nice house in London compared to 275 pounds per week for my accommodation in London. So living in Birmingham as well as your normal drinking, eating and going out and paying for rent, all of your costs together was extremely low in my opinion. It's obviously not one of the cheapest places to live in the country, but in comparison to London, which is what I'm living in now, it is so much more cheap and so much easier to pay for your living. In terms of the fun things to do in the city, you won't exactly be spoiled for choice, but you also won't be short on the things that you can do. So listing a few things that you can do in Birmingham, they have the Bullring Shopping Centre, which is kind of similar to the Westfield Shopping Centre in London, which has loads of different shops, restaurants, and retail stores you can visit, which I quite enjoyed visiting. There's also Cadbury World, which is the Cadbury Chocolate Factory. I didn't actually end up going there in my university degree, but I will go back there one day. There's also a city center, which has loads of different shops, high streets, and also a number of seasonal things. For example, the Christmas market that came every single Christmas was so amazing, and it was one of the best Christmas markets I've ever visited in my life. And although there are quite a few fun things to do in Birmingham, you can't really compare it to London for obvious reasons. London is obviously a humongous city with an infinite number of things to do. So comparing it to Birmingham, which is the second biggest city in the UK, isn't exactly fair. In terms of the transport in the city, transport is okay. You can't really, again, compare it to London. Um, the chains are quite cheap and affordable and getting within the city is quite easy, but it only goes to major destinations. For example, if you compare it to London Underground, the train goes to almost everywhere in the entire city, whereas Birmingham only really went to the major areas of the city. Traveling outside of the trains is usually quite difficult. The buses are really inefficient and really expensive and you're better off just getting an Uber if you can't get a train. And that's one thing that I didn't really like. So because of this, I want to rate living in Birmingham a three out of five. And living in London at King's definitely takes the win for this category. The next category I'm going to be talking to you guys about is safety. And that's one thing that I know a lot of you will probably be thinking about, especially if you're an international student. Safety in Birmingham is honestly one of the things that I had a problem with. And it's very unfortunate that I did have that problem. Living in London is by no means safe, but there definitely uh, isn't any time where I felt threatened for my life or for my belongings. Um, whether I'm going to walk into a lecture, walk into the hospital, getting around the city, or even coming back from nights out at three o'clock in the morning. The city itself in London is always really, really busy. There's always people around the CCTV and normally the public transport is good enough to get you almost exactly outside where you live so you don't really have much of a walk in dangerous areas or uh, empty areas than you would in comparison to Birmingham. During the years that I spent in Birmingham there was loads of different incidents mainly to do with theft and I want to talk to you guys about these experiences. I was actually attempted to be robbed twice. One was during my second year of university and the second was actually after I graduated last year and unfortunately it wasn't uncommon to hear about robberies, attacks, and serious incidents within Birmingham while I was studying there. We have this Facebook page in university where all of the students kind of was part of and would kind of notify each other about different things going on around the city. And almost every single week, almost multiple times a week, we had messages from literally one of our friends or some random person we didn't know in the university notifying us of a man going around robbing people literally one or two streets down from where I lived. Um, unfortunately, because um, thieves know that the area called Selly Oak um, is where the majority of students live and walk home from the library sometimes late at night carrying valuables like laptops and their phones. A lot of robbers would actually target these areas because they know these students will have money on them and have valuables on them. I also must say that I'm not entirely sure why, but the population in Birmingham definitely seemed a lot rowdier, especially in places that has alcohol, like in clubs or bars, which I didn't really like. I must say, however, that the actual university itself, the actual campus is very, very very safe. I definitely saw security there all the time, um, roaming the area. There's always CCT cameras as well. So the actual university itself is very safe and I didn't have a problem with it. So as I said, in my second year, we lived in Sally Oak and we actually got robbed. One of the people we we're living with accidentally forgot the back door open. And when we came down in the morning, all of our stuff was taken. Our huge 50 inch TV was taken, our Xbox was taken, our speakers were taken and, and no one got harmed, uh, fortunately. But that was quite a traumatic experience. When I went back to visit one of my friends uh, at a house party, as I left the house party uh, with a bunch of my friends at 2 a.m. on a busy night in the center of the city. About five or six people actually came up to my group and tried robbing us, which again wasn't a very good experience. And I don't mean this to scare you, but some people might have a different experience with Birmingham, but that's just my opinion. And because of this, I want to give the University of Birmingham a one out of five and King's College London wins for this category of safety. 
So those are the four categories that I thought were the most important uh, when reviewing the university. If you have any specific questions about the university itself, please feel free to leave a comment down below and get back to me on that. And I have a bunch of different friends in different universities across the entire country. So if there's any specific university that you'd like me to review and maybe interview my friends, please leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you. I hope you found this video informative and if you have, please smash that like button. It really helps my channel grow and reach more people. And make sure you're subscribed and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any future uploads. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.